execution that you've done yet was partly just getting used to the, uh, the situation and the tune and everything else. Now there's one place that seemed like um, it, it didn't come off too, too great and it's also a more universal move that I'd like to see you get better at. And it had it had a slide going up there. Was it? it was probably coming right out of that D chord near the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And so if you can pick up from that, from the the part preceding it, or just go right from the beginning if it's easier for you. That is something that you could and would use in lots of places, and it's not happening good enough right now. So. That's one that I'd rather work with you on okay. as a loop, okay? Uh, so, that's the goal, is something like that. So, first of all, just the slide is sound, sounds a little bit awkward. Yeah, just just, just hear that over and over. Just cross my line, I'm probably going to go on two to four. Well, that does, that's not automatically bad, but just try to get it smooth and, and appealing sounding. Just do it over and over again, not just twice. And, you see, if you leave it down, there's a little bit of that. So you, you don't want it to ring because then you have that those two sounds trying to ring against each other. So if you lift it off. but the sound is not what I'm looking for. I'm listening for something that is a little fuller where all the notes are coming through clear. Just listen to this. Too. 
That's a good one. That's another good one. That's how you do it while I'm thinking how relaxing this is. to run the lick anymore. Use your brain to listen to the lick that is being run by your hands and apply your critical thinking to it and ask yourself, well, what could be better here? And if you can't think of that, just ask what Pete about to say. <laughs> Because if you can hear the flaws that I'm hearing, or the flaw, there's one in particular that is pretty consistently happening, and it's not terrible, it's not hurting my ears or anything, it's just not as good as it could be. If you can pick that out of, of uh, Doug's playing, you are that much closer to pick it out of your own playing when you're sitting by yourself and I'm not there and there's nobody there to critique you, you're there to critique you. you have to up your own standards so that you can notice when you could be doing better so that you can then devise a way to make it better. So what do you think I'm going to say? Uh, I can use the pull off note. Exactly. The second note is, is losing its identity. It's just it's too brief and I don't really hear it. So that kind of robs the whole sound there of its fullness that you want at that time. So go back and see if you can Every time it comes up, first get it on the loop. You did. You made a nice improvement on that, and that is no longer the main 